The Devon Neutral you guys some stylish slide transitions that you can use on your music videos inside of Premiere Pro. I think these effects are super fire and they add a little bit of extra spice to music videos. So let's hop right into it. Now, starting off inside of Premiere Pro, we have this little Dirk music video open here. And you can see we have our first clip here and then this one happens after. So we're gonna create our first slide transition on here. So we're gonna take the very first frame of our second clip and we're gonna take a screenshot of it and then make sure we have import into project on and then we're gonna hit okay. Now it'll go inside of here, our project. And we're just gonna drag and drop it in our timeline. We're gonna bring it over to this side here. So what happens before the actual video starts. So clicking on it, we're then gonna go up inside of effect controls and we're gonna click on opacity and then click on our pen tool. And we're gonna cut around little Dirk, cutting them out from the background. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and then just scroll out to zoom out. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm really not gonna take my time with this cutout. I recommend that you guys really take your time with it. If it ever gets to the bottom here where you can't click to create a new point, go over to fit, change it to like 50% and you'll have more room down here and then change it back to fit. So now that we have them cut up for the background, you guys can see we have them right here, just like that. So now to animate it, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go ahead and nest him first. Now that he's nested, you can actually add the transform on, go inside of effect controls. We're going to turn this off, set this to 200 like we did before. And now we're going to go to the very beginning, keyframe position, set them to the bottom. And then we're going to go to the very end here, just like so. And we're going to reset it to bring them to the top. You guys get an effect just like that. To make it happen faster, I'm gonna move these keyframes over here and then delete the excess. Oh, let's make it a little bit slower actually. We'll do here. So you guys can see we get that coming in effect just like so. To make it a little bit saucier, what we're gonna do is highlight the first keyframe here, right click on it, go over to temporal interpolation and wanna do easy ease out for the first one and then make sure to drag this one to the end right click on it, temporal interpolation, and make this one say easy ease in. And you guys get a really smooth transition just like so. What you can do as well is click on it, go over to effects, and we're gonna search up directional blur. You can drag and drop this on as well to make more of a blur effect. So let's say you're not really a fan of this blur here. You can go ahead and turn it to zero. So you're not really gonna have any blur, right? But if you go ahead and create your own directional blur inside of effect controls here that we have at the bottom, we can turn our blur length up, you guys can see here. So we'll keyframe that and we'll turn it up towards the end here. That looks super fire. Now to add a little bit more sauce to this, guys, we're gonna be using my brand new plugin, Fast Effects here. So all you have to do to use Fast Effects is select your layers. You guys can see we have them selected here. You just wanna select your open layer. So I'm gonna select V3 since there's nothing inside of it and then select A2 since there's nothing in here. And wherever our playhead is, it's gonna load in whatever effect we choose. So let's say we wanna go ahead and add a basic flash here. We just hit the check mark and it's gonna load one in right here. You can tweak the setting to your liking. So we get a nice flash transition. And let's say we wanna extend this here and add an effect on top. We're gonna right click, add tracks. We'll add a video track. We'll add another one here. We'll go ahead and add a soft hit V2 here. You can click it and you can see how it looks. We'll go ahead and hit the check mark. We gotta look like this. Get a nice little hit effect on there. That looks super hard there, guys. For when this comes in here, you can also add a little flicker effect. So I'm gonna go into flashes. I'm gonna look up flicker transition, hit the check mark. It says clashing with existing clips since we already have one on here. So we're gonna go ahead and move this one up just so this one's empty and we'll try it again and boom, you guys can see it loads in perfectly. And that really adds a lot more sauce to this. So you have that really nice slide in transition. And you guys can do that with all these clips here. You can even do it with this one, just cut it out again. And if you have a really fast moving scene, you could just repeat that over and over and over again. And it adds a lot of sauce to your videos. So you guys are looking for a stylish slide transition. Make sure to use this inside of Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.